Hello and welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. The book of Revelation, now that's a book that a lot of people try to steer clear of because it is kind of complicated. But there's a, a thing called the Letters to the Seven Churches of Asia. And different theologians have different views about what all that means, but some of it is very clear. There's one church in of those seven churches that received this letter where it says that they left their first love. Now, when I say that, a lot of people, the first thing they think of is that cute little girl they kissed at the Sadie Hawkins dance in seventh graders. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the love we should have for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Many of you uh, remember when you gave your life to the Lord. For some of you, that might have just been a few years ago. Others, it could have been 20, 30 years ago. For me, it's been a long time now, and, and it just seems like yesterday when uh, the blinders fell off, when the light bulb went on, when I realized that I wasn't in a right relationship with God, and I, I asked God to forgive me, and I began to live, live for Him and serve Him with all my heart. And, I, you know, I know that I've never uh, left my first love for the Lord. And it's something that you, it just isn't going to happen naturally. you gotta, you got to work at it. I don't mean that you work and earn your salvation. That's not what I'm saying. But Jesus said, that we have to abide in Him. So today I want to challenge you. Don't let your flame, don't let the fire on your altar, if I could use that analogy, go dim. You know, if you're at a campfire, you've got to keep putting a few logs on. Stay close to the Lord. There's some basic things that all of us can do to make sure that happens. One is spend time with God each day. Uh, find a place to get alone with the Lord and open your Bible and read through it. Spend time in prayer. Be with other believers in the house of the Lord. And get busy and do something for God. Quit making excuses. There's plenty to do. Praying God will show you what to do. Well, there's a lot I could say, but don't leave your first love till we get together tomorrow. God bless you. And hey, have a great day.